Hello, Gabriella Venturo here with Menifee Buzz, and today I'm here at Harvest Hill STEAM Academy in Winchester. This school opened back in August of 2016 as the first magnet school in the Menifee Union School District with a focus on STEAM topics, including science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. This school is building the necessary blocks to prepare the students of today for the technologies and careers of tomorrow. I am here to get some words from the awesome PTA staff and the lead innovator who keeps this school striving for the best. I have with me Amanda Stevenson, who is the Vice President of Ways and Means here at Harvest Hill. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, yeah, thank you. Thanks for giving us your time. So I wanna go over what Ways and Means means, <laughs> as a tongue twister, and uh, basically explain why you guys decided to take the focus off of fundraising. Okay, so um, in the past, there's been, I think, kind of a stigma around PTA yes. and fundraising. Like, we're just here to take your money. Right. Um, which is not true. We fundraise as a ways and means by which we can put on all of our great programs and activities here at the school for our students. Awesome, okay, so now are you excited about Tasty Tuesdays and what do you think it's gonna bring to the table for Harvest Hill? Yeah, Tasty Tuesdays is something that me personally, I personally am really excited about. Yeah. Um, it's one of our f most fun activities that we're doing, okay. so you know, you have a night off from cooking, yes. you come, <laughs> eat, and enjoy the company of your fellow Harvest Hill families. Absolutely. And you have uh, one child here, and you're soon to have two, correct? Yes. So I have three boys. I have a first grader. Next year, I'll have a kindergartner. And then the following year, we got a little one in TK. Hey, okay, I'm here with Dana Bias. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Great. Thank you. Now, can you explain your um, role here in the PTA? Um, I am the PTA president for the 2017-18 school year. Okay, great. Now, I want to ask you, with Harvest Hill having a different emphasis than most STEM academies, there's an A in there, and it's STEAM. So can yes. you explain that? Um, here at Harvest Hill, instead of going STEM, we added STEAM. Uh, we added the A for STEAM. Okay. And uh, the A is for arts. And it's just not the drawing and paint and yeah. just a pencil, but it's everything. It's visual arts, it's um, um, language arts, dancing, whatever. We're trying to get the kids involved in and bring out their talents. Right. So I really think it's awesome that the school district decided to put STEAM instead of STEM. I totally agree. Yes. Yeah. And like I was explaining to Dana off camera, I was saying even, you know, a journalist like myself from NFE Buzz, arts would be included in that. And I think that it's a crucial aspect because students who, you know, maybe don't want to go in those specific areas, Correct. they don't feel left out. So Correct. that's Correct. huge. Now, I understand that your daughter is excelling here at the school. Yes, she is. And um, she actually has a preference over this school and, and she's enjoying herself. Can yes. you explain the personal experience that you've had here and um, how you're you're realizing what a good choice this school was sure um, Sydney just took a 360 here at Harvest Hill and I think it's because of the teachers that pulled the um, ambition out of her mm -hmm. and this school give her so many different options like uh, we were talking earlier about the arts yeah. and um, they emphasize on science and you know and it just changed her her thought yeah. and um, what you you guys will see earlier is dependence on the, in the hallways and how the school focus on not just going into middle school and high school but this school here focused on college oh, and things so that you can and in your dreams and what you want to do beyond high school right. and so a lot of times the kids talks about the penance and what college they want to go to and um, she's asking more questions about college and what do college means yeah. and so that's exciting that is. so she's now talking about becoming an astronaut cool. right and how you know our Saturday mornings went from wanting to watch TV and play video games to now she wants to go to the science museums wow. and I think that is awesome and I just appreciate the way the teachers um, just interact with the kids and you know it 
you just you can tell the difference and i just love it that's awesome yes, yes. If, if that doesn't say anything i don't know what does yes, right correct <laughs> Now, um, on more of a serious note, I understand that your husband is in the military. Yes. Um, but Harvest Hill has helped your family specifically. Can you ex touch on that and explain? Sure. Um, here at Harvest Hill, there is a community we have here with a lot of uh, kids with deployed parents. Yeah. And um, we have a counselor. She comes in and she checks on the kids. And they can go to her at any time if they right. feel they need to talk and if they're missing mom or dad mm -hmm. or whoever that uh, Gordian is that's deployed. Mm -hmm. And um, I know definitely with Sydney, um, she's able to talk to Principal Martez and um, talk to the counselor if she feels that she needs someone besides me right. to talk to about her dad being deployed. Mm -hmm. And so... It really helps. It really helps that the teachers are involved and it helps that uh, not just on an educational level, but on a personal level. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a teacher that uh, has a husband. He is now deployed. Mm -hmm. So it really helps her to know that she's not the only one yeah. and she's not by herself yeah. and that she has a lot of people she can talk to. And so and I think that helps with uh, schoolwork also because mm -hmm. uh, dad is not here. So I think. Uh, she has that feeling that she need a male role model around mm -hmm. Principal Martis. That's so He's cool. so awesome. I know he is so involved. He you is. guys will see the interview coming up here soon. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yes, <laughs> he is. He's involved with all the students. They love him, and the parents love him. So you know, he's really awesome. He's awesome. Menifee Buzz. I'm with Jillian. How are you, Jillian? Good. Good. So now Jillian's going to tell us a little bit more about the school. Now I want to ask you, what's your favorite part about Harvest Hill? I think the science activities. The science activities. So what does that mean? What does is, what is your teachers have you do? What kind of activities does that include? She likes to send papers home and then we work on the project and we get all the materials and then um, we bring them back to school and we get to share with the class what we built and see how they cool. work. Awesome. What has been your favorite one? Like have you brought a really cool one to class to share? We haven't done one yet but we're oh. going to do one when we are going to bring a in musical instrument to school. We have to make one. What are you going to bring in? Do you know yet? I think I might do a guitar. A guitar? Cool. Jillian, what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. A doctor? Cool. What kind of doctor? A doctor for kids. Oh, cute. Awesome. So now I know you have a little bit of a shout out to give some of our viewers. So can you tell them what you want them to do? Come to Tasty Tuesdays and support our school. Alrighty, Menifee Buzz, Gabriella Venturo here with Gina John. How you doing? Good, thanks. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. So now, can you explain your position here at Harvest Hill STEAM Academy? Sure. I am the Executive Vice President of Membership for the Harvest Hill PTA. Awesome. Okay. So now, to all of our viewers, can you explain what our partnership here is between Menifee Buzz and uh, the STEAM Academy? Yeah, we're super happy to be partnering with Menifee Buzz to help promote the efforts that the Harvest Hill PTA is putting together in order to raise funds and get out to the community about what we're doing here. Cool. Okay, so now today is Tuesday and we have um, some things going on today, specifically yes. Tasty Tuesdays. So can you explain to all of our viewers again what Tasty Tuesday is and um, what we're doing? Sure. Everybody has to eat out at dinner, so tonight we are going to invite the community to come to our first Tasty Tuesday, which helps raise money for the school, brings programs and events back to the school and back to the students. Right. So everybody that comes out to our first Tasty Tuesday and all of our Tasty Tuesdays throughout the year, percentage of the proceeds from dining out at that restaurant will come back to the school. Perfect. And all you guys have to do is just bring the form. We have posted it on our Facebook page. You've posted it on your pages as well. And then I'm, and the school as well has, you know, plenty of forms to go around. Okay, so the PTA here at the STEAM Academy was starting at 92 members, which is a lot because this is a first year school. But Gina John did not let it stop there, and they are now at 300 members. Can you explain how you rounded up all of those troops and uh, what you challenges, 
challenge the lead innovator here to as you got these 300 members sure pta for harvest hill steam academy chartered last year in january at our first year and the first year we were able to pull 92 members together like you said but for the beginning of this school year i really wanted to set the bar high and set a bigger goal we set the goal at 300 members i really thought that membership goal would take the whole year right. and with the help of all of our innovators at the school the teachers our staff and the PTA we were able to round up 300 or more actually we're over yeah. 300 members in the first four weeks of school. Oh my God. Mr. Mardez did not think I could do that so I challenged him and I told him if we reached 300 members would he shave his hair into a mohawk. <laughs> so on Friday last week we reached 300 members we exceeded it and he shaved his hair in a mohawk. That is so awesome and what are the responses from uh, his hair being shaved in a mohawk? <laughs> well obviously the kids were super excited we did it in front of all the kids oh, cool. and <laughs> we had sports clips of Menifee come out to shave their hair so awesome. it was great support from a local business and we also had um, some coverage of, you know with local uh, businesses and local uh, publications so yeah. there's been great support in the community and people were excited and of course they love to see him out front uh, with the cars and the traffic yeah. showing off his mohawk so it's been a lot of fun well he's rocking it and you'll yeah. see later here uh, just speaking of, of that how you were going over you know basically community involvement how important do you feel it is for the community even though you guys are in Win Winchester for surrounding communities to support because you guys are still a part of the Menifee Union School District sure we obviously want the community to know about the school our students go here. Yeah. It affects the surrounding community of all of Menifee, Marietta, and Temecula, right. and Winchester, of course. So we really look to the community to help with our events, fundraisers, volunteering, um, all of that. And their support is invaluable to us. Absolutely. Gabriela Ventura here with Brian Martez. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Now, you are the lead innovator behind Harvest Hill STEAM Academy. What does that mean? And why did you decide to go away from principal? Well, to me, principal just sounds so old school and I just it just has sort of a negative connotation to it. Agreed. So we wanted we're innovators here. That's our mascot. And so we wanted something that was just a little bit different. And so be, you know, being the lead innovator means that I'm leading all the students in the right direction and the teachers. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, speaking of, you know, old times and, and being more modern with the way you guys are doing things. How do you guys keep up with the technology and, and all the, the, the advancements that are happening so fast? Well, we have a, I have a great staff, first off, that leads our students into that direction. Um, they work with the students as far as with the new technologies. We've got 3D printers here at school. Yeah. We have Lego Robotics. We have all of the different robots that we're working on, uh, Ozobots, different yeah. Makey Makeys, yeah. all these different things that when I was in school didn't even dream of, even just five years yeah. ago didn't even dream of, to be able to have those things now. So it just helps with keeping us on the cutting edge as much as possible. Now, absolutely. Now, how do you guys fundraise all of that and keep all of that going? We fundraise through things like what we're doing right now with Tasty Tuesday, where our PTA helps us quite a bit, where our community gives back to us a lot. And we have different events all the time that we're trying to get to be able to be able to um, do all these things yeah. at school. So it makes it, it makes a lot of work, but it's worth it for the kids. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm very impressed to say the least. Thank you. So. <laughs> Yeah, so let's talk about your uh, cool new hairstyle here. <laughs> so um, last year when our PTA started up, we had um, just 80 members, around 80 members or so. Yeah. And so the PTA challenged and they wanted, they set a goal and I'm really goal oriented. So I said, let's set a goal for a, a, an attainable amount of members. And so they said, okay, let's come up with 300. What are you going to do for us if we get 300 members? And I said, all right, let me think. And so I said, well, I have fast growing hair. Let's just go ahead and shave my head into a mohawk. So I think the kids would like that. So last uh, Thursday, they reached that goal. So I came through with my promise. And Friday during our assembly, we shaved my head into a mohawk. So, <laughs> And how did the kids take that? Were they enjoying it to the fullest? Because kids always like to see you get hurt or right. be, you know, humiliated. Yeah, they, the kids loved it. Um, everybody's really liked it. They said I even looked younger, which I don't think about that. But uh -huh. um, my own daughter was a little scared about me getting a mohawk, which is funny. But um, the kids like it. And then each day I see one or two more students that have a mohawk and their parents said well it's because oh, you have a mohawk cool. too so it is really cool that so that is awesome yeah. great well thank you so much for your time i appreciate it